and traveling to it on the planet so they can reap the benefits of his base. So McLizard, it's a farming base, right? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a, a farm for crafters. Mm -hmm. And um, you can make some circuit boards. And primarily, I want to be a, a, a supply for building atmospheric harvesters. Oh, nice. So in one go, you can get all the parts to uh, make three atmospheric harvesters, which cool. is the limit per planet. So Let's see. So Fujur. Fujurna for hopefully this is right. Yeah, it's discovered by you. So your planet's named Oh Nugu Soviaf. Is that correct? Uh huh. Good. And there you are. Yep. Here I am. Great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and build so the exocraft. Build exocraft. Yep. I've got it's it. It's not a water world, so anyone will do. Good. We, I always use um, uh, Nomad because it's nomad fastest. Thing, it's okay. Yeah. Um, like and where's your fast. base? I don't see a beacon. You don't see a beacon over here? No, I, I see a comm station though, so it, 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 yeah, it must be covering it up. So. That must be it. Yeah. Must be covering it up. And if you want, along the way, there is a, oh, what do you call those things where you have to break the door in? The uh, operation center. Oh, oh yeah. I, w I was just going to say, I, you were talking about um, atmosphere harvesters. I have, I have one recipe so far that uses gases, uses a gas. Um, uh -huh. And yeah, I, I'm pretty soon I'm going to be searching down those those centers where you get those recipes so I can get all the new recipes and then I'll probably want atmosphere harvesters so I can try using all those new recipes that use gas yeah they're great um, they're great on, on a planet like this you can do a, a nitrogen harvester and that the product from that is uh, uh, some kind of salt uh, ammonium salt or something like that yeah i think yeah that's the recipe i have is ammonium salt and right, then so another that one nice you can use on go ahead oh so so like for instance you could you could harvest the materials and set three of those up at the uh at the portal there and then you just portal through pick up your goodies and portal back yeah Yep, it seems like it's going to work really well that way with with the centers of excellence. Um, have, we'll basically have a registry on our website where anybody can 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 see the portal address and uh, sure. come visit it and reap the benefits of it. It's kind of neat that we're kind of going to be um, providing a service to any. Um, no man sky players that want to um, yeah, I kind of like that yeah want it was to. it was fun when I went to King King Vi's Bay base the other day and I ran into another player there and uh, I, I've forgotten his name now but I sent a screenshot I, to about it you remember that yeah. I think you wound up rec recruiting the guy yeah for, uh, base visit or something. Yeah, yeah, he became a client. So that worked out real well. Yeah, yeah another guy just running into somebody random. Yeah, another guy on YouTube says he's visited King's base like three times after I made that video. Yeah. Oh neat, you've got you've got um star brambles around your domes. That's neat. I'll wait till you yeah, get here and you can show Yeah, it cuts down on the uh, overhead. Yeah. The, you have to have so many of those to make a, a circuit board. I mean, you, you have to have like eight for yeah. each circuit board. So, planting, planting them inside isn't very practical. Yep. Um, our thing I was going to say was... I'm lagging here behind you. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, there was something else I was going to say. I forgot what it was.
Oh well. Maybe I'll remember it later. So I'll let. Oh no, I fell through. You fell All through. Right, I'll be with you in a minute. Yeah. It's through the world? Yep. Oh no. Does that happen at your base a lot? It does for some reason. Every once in a while, if I get in too much of a hurry, since I jacked up the. The. Uh, you know, the percentage of used, it's up to like 99%. So you're you gonna have to find a spot to get out, though. So you're gonna have to load a yes. save or. Use no, the what I do is I, what, is, what I do is I spot some low terrain and I swim fly over to it. It drops me into space and then I fall into the ocean. <laughs> so I can swim a little bit. Oh man. And I then I come up and I and I have to time it just right and blast a hole before did, I run out of here. Did you air. use the terrain manipulator at all to like dig or something? Never. Or? Huh. Never. So no idea what's because causing had, it? Uh uh. Huh. And it started before I had 100% complexity. Did it happen when you, when you, like, stopped on your vehicle or something? Sometimes it happens. Yeah, it happens when I, it happened when I got out of the vehicle. Hmm. Ah, That's a new one. There. I wish I could help you, but it doesn't work that way. I can't, no, I can't dig you out. I don't want to turn it off, so. Here we go. <laughs> Success. I am a minute away. I just swim a minute away to find a low enough spot. Oh, man. And then you have to blast a hole with a grenade. And when you turn around and look, the hole's filled in. Wow. <laughs> you should be able to call your vehicle to you from there, I think. Oh, yeah, huh? I kind of like how you got one Mordite root surrounded by by the the mushrooms. It's just oh yeah, like funny little touch. Well, each one of those each one of those um, domes with the uh, mushroom things, the fungus uh -huh. things, and the Mordite. Each one of those domes will produce one acid. Oh, nice. Exactly. Yeah, I couldn't with remember. The Mordite and all. Yeah, I couldn't remember which recipe it was that used those two things. Now. Yeah, that's to produce the acid and to build the air uh, extractor, the, 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 the uh, atmospheric extractor, you need two acid and one, oh, what do they call those things? One uh, capacitor, heat capacitor. Cool. Well, yeah, I, I like how you've got it so that, you know, like perfectly measured out so each dome does a certain thing and all that. As, as much as I could. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'm definitely going to be um, approving this for COE because this is really extensive and good. It's not fancy, but uh, it's spaceman practical. So it's what I was about to say before you fell through the ground was, do you want to make a monument here? Sure. Sure. Where should so, we put it? Unless you've already made a monument, then it might not nope. work. It's just wherever you want. It'll be, it's your base, so wherever you want it to be. Oh, let's put it over here. Let's kind of put it right over here. Okay. Cool. Monumental. Great. So I've looked around the domes already. Did you want to show me the, the inside of the center part? Um, sure. There's not much there. Okay. Uh, upstairs is some of the stuff you'll need. There are a few more plants up there. Wow. Uh, the uh, carbon trays that grow the carbon plant. Uh, oh, good. You need those when you uh, 
use your atmospheric harvester. Uh, oh. That's what I, you, you need that to, uh, carbon is the other item when you go to craft it. It's whatever do, gas do you have, you to, have do plus, you, plus carbon. I know you have to power um, hydroponic trays now. Do you have to power the AMUs and the atmosphere you harvesters? You can, you can power them with uh, carbon. It takes quite a bit. I think it takes yeah. about 50 plutonium. Uh, well, that's not too bad. Where my safes are there, right at the other end of the row, right on the edge of my baseline is where I have them set up. And interestingly enough, the ones you set up near your base, which can only be three of the ones you're using. But if, you, if you're standing inside your base and you break them down, you get the stuff back. If you're standing outside your base and you break it down, you don't get it back. Wait, say it again? So, you know, when, you know, things that you build off your base, you normally oh, you don't get resources yeah, yeah, yeah. back. Right? Yeah, yeah, Te but, tech, yeah, ever since they did a patch in Pathfinder that made it that way. Because for a long time right. we could deconstruct tech to get stuff back. And then when they made it so you could make geo bays anywhere, they didn't want you to just be able to same, get back the same materials. Same thing works for geo bays. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, anyway. Well, you, 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 you build them right on the edge of your base. They uh, don't count for your complexity. Yeah. And when you go to tear them down, be sure you're standing in your base oh. and looking across, and you'll get the stuff back. Oh, that's a nice trick. Because it goes by where you are, not where the stuff is. Yeah. Because it was actually so. because of the geo bays that they took away getting your tech back for free from anywhere. Uh huh. Because they didn't want people and to now, just move it now the universe wanted. is littered with uh signal scanners <laughs> <laughs> yeah i so said they only appear for you they don't appear for other I know, players I... so i'm gonna well, it reminds me when we first started playing this game and signal scanners were everywhere just oh yeah around. yeah 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 the game used to generate them but now we have to build them uh -huh. I'm going to build a comm station here that has my COE approval in it. Oh, there you go. My stamp of approval. <laughs> well, yeah, I know you're busy these days, Mr. Director. <laughs> I put COE number two. Director Mac Ford. Yeah, the only one I know that's been here besides you, Mac, is uh, Vi. He left that. King Vi left that comm station. Well, up you'll probably have some more visitors soon with this video and probably. putting it up on the website. Well, I hope so, you know, because if it wasn't, I, I don't need all this just for myself. Yep. Yeah, and I'll be. I'll, I'm, I'm, actually... I'm definitely going to be visiting later when I want to make um, atmosphere um, harvesters. Okay. And the like, circuit boards are worth, uh, oh, you know, over a million a piece. Cool. And you can get four of those here. So. Yep. I, I just. It's, it's not really for for making money for myself because I'm not too concerned with money right now. It's uh, I, I mainly would just want to test the new the new you know additions to the game to see just how much money you can make with it. Like, is mm -hmm. it worth it to build atmosphere? atmosphere harvesters if you can craft stuff with it and if it makes you enough money to be um better than other things or if you're just better off doing other stuff i've been crafting these superconductors and it takes in enriched carbon as one of the ingredients yeah and a, a semiconductor which you can get from missions at the space station yep yeah you if you don't you, have yeah, I think you, yeah, you can get the recipes for both of those, but I haven't gotten them yet. And the, uh, but anyway, these superconductors, they're worth two million a piece. And all that takes is, you know, uh, is one semiconductor and one enriched carbon. Cool. So the enriched carbon is a, one of the gas collector things that you can get from from that i forget which one it is but you uh there's three different gases you get nitrogen from planets like this the the uh lush, you know, lush whatever 
and then uh, from hot planets you get one of the others, and from toxic planets you get one of the others. Oh, so do you think so it's like toxic, it, toxic and radioactive have the same? Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure about toxic and radioactive, but. Here, let me see. I've I've got I've got one of the gases in my. Yeah, I'm nitrogen, lush and toxic. So lush and toxic have the same thing. So there's probably other planets. There's probably two planets per gas if there's only three gases. So lush and toxic have the same thing. Okay. So anyway, right here in my system, I've got. I mean, like one of them I set up at a. uh, At a, a freighter wreck. And so I can collect collect some nanites and cash while I'm there. And the other one I set up at a, a trading post. That's kind of cool how you can see someone moving in photo mode. It doesn't uh-huh. it doesn't it pauses everything except players because we're like separate from the separate from it or something. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video speed. here. This is a great um, center of excellence that. Uh, McLizard420 right, well, has built. thanks for coming. Yeah. And thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.